Hi there and welcome back to Triplicate and today's something just a little bit different. Now uh, I do occasionally do talking headshots in these videos and uh, you've probably noticed by now that I wear glasses, spectacles and I have done since I was four I think um, because basically my eyes aren't very good and my eyesight, even with glasses, doesn't get any better as I get older. So time was, I needed magnification when I was working on surface mount electronics and now I need some sort of magnification every time I pick up a soldering iron. And this is my main magnifier, uh, which is, I don't know how old now, but quite old. And uh, you can see it magnifies, uh, but it's not as big as I would like, and I don't find it magnifies enough for me. And it has a, a light with it, but it's probably going to kill the camera. It's a it's an old bulb type, not a, a nice new LED type. So I thought. I would buy myself a new one. I also have this pretty scratched up and beat up hand magnifier but that's got more magnification uh, actually about the right amount but of course it's a hand magnifier so you have to hold it and when you're soldering you tend to need two hands to solder with um, so I would like to find a, a bench magnifier with the same magnification as this. Okay, so I had a look round at uh, the possible ones you can buy and uh, restricting ourselves to sensible prices. This is probably one of the more expensive ones I looked at, uh, available from Machine Mart. Clark is their own brand. Okay, and this one offers um, a pretty good LED lamp by the sounds of it. Uh, and it offers a three diopter lens, whatever diopter is. And if we scroll down here, it's got a 170 millimeter diameter lens. Oh, and it claims 1.75 magnification as well. Okay. So that looks pretty good, but that's uh, £60. It's not cheap. And we also have something like this, available a lot cheaper off of eBay, from the Far East, which uh, is offering a um, five times magnification. And again, LED lenses and so, LED lights and so forth. And he's aimed at the manicure and tattoo market. I guess there are more tattooists out there than there are electronic engineers. Okay, so which one to get? Um, I know I need more magnification, but I've got no information on the light I've got, so I don't know what the magnification is or the diopter is. Um... So at this point, I think we're going to have to look into it a little deeper. Okay, so this is Wikipedia's on uh, magnifiers and magnification. And the magnification is a bit of a how long is a piece of string um, quantity because it depends how far the magnifier is from your eye. Um, apparently when quoting magnification we use a standard value of 0.25 meters so the magnifying power um, from here is then 0.25 times the diopter plus one so again here uh, a focal length of uh, 0.25 of a meter uh, we'll have an optical power of 4 diopters, so 0.25 times 4 equals 1, uh, plus 1 is 2. So again, if we look here, this is sold as 2 times magnification. Uh, however, in general, a magnifying power between 1 and 2 is more likely. So 
can we measure the magnification? Okay, a rather subjective way of measuring magnification. Um, and I don't know how well this is going to work on the camera, but we'll try it anyway. Okay, so here we have two lines, parallel lines, four centimetres apart. So what I'm going to do is put the magnifier between me and the lines at my normal working position and I'm going to attempt to draw two lines parallel with the look to me parallel with the ones through the magnifier below the magnifier so that is near something like that and something like that and I'm going to measure the distance between these which are what I see as the distance so that's six centimeters so this magnifier is actually magnifying one and a half times I reckon by that very crude measurement. Hang on though, isn't my eye basically just a lens forming an image on light sensitive surface, uh, discounting my glasses of course, and this here camera is basically also just a lens forming an image on a light sensitive surface. So Can I not take this view, which is my two four centimetre apart lines through the lens, so that's the magnified, and that one, which again, ignoring those, is the two four centimetre lines without the lens, and actually take stills off the video footage and just measure in pixels the difference between the lines without the magnifier and with the magnifier and that's my magnification measured rather than the rather subjective method I just did using my eyes okay shall we see okay so here it is I've taken two frames from the video as I promised and measured the number of pixels between the top of those two lines and without the magnification it's 153 pixels and with the magnification it's 233 pixels which gives the magnification as 233 over 153 or 1 1.52 one and a half which is the same as my eyeballing technique so I reckon the camera technique is good, is valid, so we're going to try that again for my little handheld magnifier and see what that comes out as. Okay, here we are, magnifier, handheld magnifier just clamped to the desk magnifier so we can use the, the arm, just a little arm from that to position it. Okay, I've... Uh, drawn two new dots instead of the original lines because they needed to be a bit closer together so here they are through the magnifier and if I put the magnifier out of the way there they are unmagnified so I shall now do the same procedure and we shall see what the magnification is through that handheld magnifier okay here we are so Without the magnifier, our two dots are 178 pixels apart. With the magnifier, they're 456 pixels apart. So our magnification comes out at 2.56, which is probably nearer what I'm aiming for. OK, so when we're buying a magnifier, uh, we found out um, that the value for magnification 
Mm, it's a convention, depends on the distance between the uh, whatever's being magnified, the lens and the eye. Um, the other thing that's qu quoted is diopter. Uh, so what's this? Uh, now, many years ago I did a degree in physics, so I ought to know all this optic stuff, but long forgotten. So we look again on Wikipedia and it tells us that diopter is equal to the reciprocal of the focal length measured in meters. Okay, focal length. Next Wikipedia page. So the focal length of a lens according to the thin lens approximation uh, which we're going to use is given by 1 over f the focal length equals 1 over u plus 1 over v where u and v are the distance from the object and the image to the lens so that is something we can measure is something dependent physically on the lens so is it a fixed value so should we try and measure the focal length and therefore the diopter of our two lenses. Okay, a bit of handheld camera here, so hopefully not too shaky. So there's my lens and up here we have a mismatched selection of LED bulbs which light the room and I want the whole room lit and we are going to look for the image of that bulb focused by the lens on the desk down here so let us turn the light on and see if we can uh, focus the image okay there you can see it's there but out of focus and the light is here so I'm going to bring the light down I'll point you at there at the desk and is that the image? yeah it's definitely going to focus the other way out of focus again so down 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 I'm only moving it by a few millimetres down 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 let's call it at that so I now already measured the distance from the light to the desk and 1.54 meters so I now need the distance from the lens to the desk okay going in so there's the ruler and the lens is about halfway up there so should we call that uh, 51 and a half centimetres 51 and a half centimetres okay okay shall we try the same with the small lens now because it's a smaller lens it might be harder to line it up anyway we'll go down here you can see the ah uh, coming into focus and zoom in Should we say about there? Yeah. Okay. And measuring it again. We would say that is, what should we call that? 18 and a half centimetres. I think I'll call that. 18 and a half centimetres. Right, let's do some calculations. Okay, let's take the bench magnifier first. Uh, so, on the right you see the equation for focal length which is 1 over the diopter so the diopter is 1 over 0.515 the distance between the lens and the bench plus 1 over 1.54 minus 0.515 the distance between the lens and the light that gives a diopter of 2.92 or 
if we really want to know a focal length of 0.34. Similarly, for the handheld magnifier, um, the distance from the magnifier to the desk was 0.185 meters and the distance from the magnifier to the light was 1.54 minus 0.185 meters this gives the diopter of 6.1 and again the focal length is just one over that which is 0 0.16 or 16 centimeters and below here I've added the measured magnification from before uh, so we can see to get a magnification of 2, 2.5 we maybe need a diopter of 5 or above so uh, let us see what we can uh, find but before we go off and spend some money on a, a commercial offering um, shall we see if we can have a look at doing things the triplicate way and while I was looking round at, uh, at commercial lamps I found on eBay let me get that out of the way they were selling those that is a Fresnel lens which is lots of little lens shaped ridges uh, there'll be a link to the Wikipedia if you really want to know um, they sell those for for reading for people like me who struggle to read normal sized type there you go you put that in front uh, and it makes it bigger it's a magnifier and that was five pounds or something so shall we have a look to see if this has a suitable amount of magnification okay now this is a bit flexy <laughs> it's bent it doesn't work as well as it might and if I don't bend it that way it'll flop that way you see what I mean so here we go let's try and focus our light yeah about there you can see there are all sorts of coloured images they're not perfect but they're cheap so I now need to try and focus that while holding it and measure the height of the bench at the same time so that's my phone going off so here we go right Tape measure about there 21 centimeters there or thereabouts so I'm gonna call that okay so let's do some calculations on that basis okay um, let's just for completeness let's try and measure the magnification so here we have the Fresnel lens whoop, rather precariously supported on a piece of wire and we can see our two dots through there so I and now I'm gonna try and pull this out of the way without upsetting everything so here we go there we go and there's the two dots with no magnification and this will go away take frame grabs of the, the two bits of video so I can measure the magnification as I did for the other lenses okay the results are in so let's see what we get uh, firstly shall we see if we can get a value for our diopter for our Fresnel lens so that's uh, 1 over 0.21 
um, the distance between the lens and the bench 1 over 1.54 minus 0.21 the distance between the lens and the light this gives us a diopter of 5.5 and a focal length of 0.18 which is pretty close to our handheld magnifier so this is starting to look good and I measured the distance between the two dots with and without the magnifier uh, off the off frame grabs off the last section of video and I got uh, 413 pixels with the magnifier in and 183 pixels without the magnifier in which gives us a magnification of 2.3 which is not far off the handheld magnifier and I think will do me and again with the Fresnel lens in you do get the magnification but you do get a certain amount of graininess um, which is inherent in the way the Fresnel lens works but I think the amount of magnification will overcome that so I think we have here the basis for a magnifier um, what I propose to do is modify the old magnifier including to include the Fresnel lens. Right, so here's what I propose to do. Now I have here a light, to shine at you, which uh, I got for Christmas actually for making videos with. Um, and I propose to mount that there. like that and then I propose to put the Fresnel lens on top like that I'll probably just glue it down for now uh, and we see how that goes and hopefully I can do that so I don't need to completely trash the existing light so the worst comes to the worst I can put it back how it is There we go. So the question is, am I going to make something that goes in there? This guy. Okay, so there it is. A metal bracket. Um, simple, but hopefully effective. Okay, so here she is. I uh, just blathered a load of hot melt glue in there and tightened them up and they seem to be okay. Uh, might have to do something else if they come loose. And for now I've just taped the Fresnel lens on the, the front of the light with double sided tape. And there we go. So, and there you are, a magnified beaten up switch. So what I shall probably do is sit on this video for a week or so till I've had a chance to, to try this out in practice uh, so I can give you an update at the end of the video as to whether it's any good or not. Okay, so I had a chance to to try my new magnifier light out in action whilst working on the big rig here, working on the electronics for it. And we have some And it works fine, but with some provisos. Firstly, you have to have it, say, sort of 20 centimeters from your face, because any nearer, and you, your two eyes are looking at completely different things. 
So, no, it's alright, you can work one eyed. Other, yeah, otherwise your binocular vision gets completely confused. Also, have to have it square, exactly square to your face, otherwise, you get all sorts of weird rainbow effects. But having said that, it magnifies nicely, magnifies really well, and with a bit of fiddling to get it set up exactly right, it works really well. So I think I'm going to call that a success and I'm going to stick with it, at least for the time being. So I guess that's it for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. I uh, hope it's given you a new take on magnifier lights. Uh, so for now I'll say goodbye. Um, if you like the channel subscribe please, thumbs up perhaps, comment if you've got one. And for now it's goodbye from Tripligat, home of interesting electronics. Goodbye. <laughs>